Actually, I, I did this in Photoshop, which is basically the same thing as Photo P, but I'm going to go ahead and go to Photo P and do this anyway. So open up our browser and it's photopae.com up here enter and we're gonna open from computer I guess you probably have it on your device uh, saved somewhere else or if it's not on your phone I'm just gonna go into the assignments Let's just see, we'll do see what you got over here. All right. Oop, no, these are not sneaker ones. It was too far ago, too long back. Good. Okay, so I'm just gonna download three or four of these and find something different that's a nice one download a good one we got some red and we got some blue all right, so I've got about four of those pictures. I'm gonna go over to my photo P and in photo P I'm gonna go to open from computer. Go to those last few pictures. Okay, so I open up those four and I've got them up here. We well, can see underneath file there's the tool options and then you can see these little tabs. These little tabs right here are the individual pictures. Now I could pick any which one of these to start with. Um, and you know what? This one kind of stood out to me. I like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this one. Now the first thing you might want to be able to do is to like rotate the image and turn it a uh, different way. So that'll be under image transform and then rotate either 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise I'll go ahead and click that since we're working on the internet sometimes it gets a little bit glitchy so this will be my starting point now what I might want to do is I might want to come in and grab uh, a piece of another picture to add to it so I think I like a lot of the stuff that I see over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my toolbar and underneath the move tool which is the very first tool we should see a rectangular select tool and if you can't find it you can always press the letter M and M would select it but it looks like basically a broken uh, square there's also an ellipse there's a polygon lasso I'll start with the rectangle select I get this plus sign I can click and drag and when I click and drag, it makes a shape. After I've made that shape, if I click inside it and drag, I can move it around. Or if I click outside of it, I can start all over and make a whole other shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a thin little shape over here. I'm gonna move it around and try to pick a spot on this thing that I feel is kind of interesting. Now what I want to do is I want to copy what's inside of the selected area. So I'm going to hold down control and tap the letter C. Then I'm going to go back to my other picture on the other tab and I'm going to press control V, which would be to paste. When it pastes on, you can see it pops up as another layer over here. What I can do is I can grab my move tool, which is the first tool and I can click on that and I can kind of move it around 
Now it's a little bit big and I might want to change that. So one of the things I can do is I can go up top on the move tool and I can hit transform controls. And when I hit transform controls, that'll give me those little boundary box stuff and I can kind of resize this thing. If I want to keep it like the normal sort of proportions and let's just say like right now I made a mistake, I can hold down control and tap the letter Z like zero. And if I want to keep this at the regular proportions, I just have to hold down shift while I do it. I'm going to hold down shift. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, kind of extend this thing so it fits. And then maybe I'll just move it up and down and try to find a spot where I like it. When I have it in the spot that I like, I'm going to press enter. That should get me to back to the transform options. And I can go over here and unclick that transform option. And then what I'm going to go back to, and I'm going to try something different, is I'm going to go to another part of the sneaker. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to try a different piece. So I did one with the rectangle select. Now I'll try with the ellipse select. When I click on the ellipse select, I can click and drag and make a circular shape. Now it'll be an oval. Or if I hold down shift, I can make a perfect circle. In this case, I'll make a perfect circle. Now pick a little spot. I like this spot on the picture. I'm going to hit Control and tap C. I'll go back to my project, hit Control and press V. Now if I want to move it, I grab my Move tool. If I want to resize it, I can hit Transform Controls. I can resize it. I can make it an oval, Control Z to undo. Or I can hold down Shift and adjust the size of it. Can even make it big and I can make it sort of bleed off the page. So maybe I'll do something like that and just have it as part of a circle over here. I'll hit enter to place it. I'll go uncheck transform controls. Now maybe I'll go back to one of the other pro, uh, one of the other ones and this time I'll use something different. I'll do instead of the rectangle select or the ellipse select, I'll try the lasso select. Lasso selects a little weird. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down and you're basically going to just kind of draw a googly shape. And when you let go, it will save that googly shape. Hello? I don't like that googly shape, so I'll go back to my lasso tool. And I'll redraw another one. I'll try it again. I'll redraw another little crazy shape. A little blob. And I'll move it around and find something that I like. I like this. I'm going to hit Control C. And bring it back to my original tab. Hit Control V. Now, I'm going to go to my Move tool. Transform controls. This time I want to rotate it. So what I'll do is I'll go to the outside of this picture and when you see that sort of bent arrow, you can click and turn and sort of rotate something. You can click in the corners and hold down shift. I can make it a little bit smaller. I can go in and I can place it wherever I want. I think I like it up here. I'll hit enter. I'll Unclick that, and then I'll go back to yet another picture. I'll use the same one, except I'm going to use a different tool. This time I'm going to click, and I'll go to my Polygon Lasso tool. Polygon Lasso tool works as if I click once. If I click once, it makes a little anchor point. And I can go ahead and click, and I can make a zigzaggy kind of shape. Every time I'm clicking, it makes a corner. I finish this thing. I have a weird shape. Again, control C. Control V. I can go to my move tool, hit transform controls. I can mess around with this thing and turn it and flip it and change it. I can make it a little bit bigger. You know what? I don't know if I like it on top over here and the way I made it it's really really big and it takes up a lot of space. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter. And instead of having it all the way on the top like this, I'm going to go to my layer window over here and I'm going to drag it so it's underneath some of this other stuff. So that those other pieces that I put on there are already on top. And here, with just creating four layers on top of my background, I've already created this sort of abstract craziness, which with the pictures that you took that are already sort of abstract and textural, I think, you know, with just a couple of layers, you can make something completely new, some com something completely original, and something that, even though it's about sneakers, is, is totally about design. And the beauty of the way you've shot your pictures is that, hey, if we take some random pieces and just kind of mash them up and play around with them, you're going to figure out pretty quickly that you can make something look kind of different and kind of interesting. So once again, all I'm doing is I'm using the select tools. I can use rectangular, ellipse, lasso, polygon. I would not use this one. This one isn't really going to help you. I would open up three, four, or five pictures maybe from an individual shoot. I would chop up some different pieces and then just layer them on. You can always reorder the layers by dragging one over top of the other over here. You can always resize something by when you're on that layer, go to the Move tool and hit Transform. That'll give you these boundary options. Just remember when you do do something with that, Once you're done messing around with it, you're going to want to hit enter and you'll know you'll have to hit enter because when you look up here, you won't see the regular move tool options. You'll see all these little number options. So when I hit enter or return, all that disappears and then you see the move tool again. To get rid of this box, I'll just unclick the transform controls and boom, there you have it. If you make something that you like and you want to save it, Make sure you go File, Save as a PSD. It will automatically download that copy to your Downloads folder on your computer. Do you have any questions, Ukasha? Is that, is that all right? Was that helpful? Yeah, that's helpful.